welcome back to my channel. So Gus and I are on our way to our old place. For the last time. For the last time and we're just gonna say our goodbyes, I guess. Yeah. And show you what we were living in. I feel like I never really did that. I don't know, I guess I did make a video when we first moved in there. But yeah. it feels so different now that it's empty. Yeah, it does. So we're just gonna go say goodbye. We're here! Look how empty! Oh my god. It's yeah. also so dark. It's so tiny. Look okay. Yeah. This is like the whole distance of the room. I know. This is, it is small. We made this work though. Like this is, this is all the shared space right here. <laughs> I know. And then this was like our living room. Like yeah. this little space. I feel so bad for the people that came and stayed with us when we had the space. They were troopers. They were, and they haven't been back. <laughs> That's correct. They they haven't, no one's gonna read this. <laughs> yeah, <back. laughs> no one's gonna Yeah, so I guess I just wanted to make this video and just talk about like, let me turn some lights on here, like what we learned from this space, because I do feel like, let me turn some more lights on. I do feel like Gus and I learned so much in this space, and this was also what I think I consider you two like our very first like Seattle place. Yeah. Like we Even were here. It took us like a year and a half to live here. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Like this was like our like our first Seattle home. Yeah, for sure. And it was also Frank's first home. So first and only home and now obviously he has a new home, but sure does. Yeah. It Frank. feels interesting. I feel like it, it's eye opening to see what six hundred and fifty square feet looks like. Mm -hmm. And I think that I hope we never have to go back to that. Yeah, I we never we never will. We never like will. that's I would never move into that small space with you guys. Yeah, <laughs> there it is, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I same. It's just too small. I feel like, uh, like especially for my allergies, like it's just out of control. Yeah. Um. I, I, it also does depend the way that it's laid out. Yeah. Like, this wall is cutting off part of the space, and like the kitchen is like cut off. The kitchen, there is like, no kitchen. Like, 650 square feet can be laid out better than this, I think. Mm -hmm. And so that that plays into it, and it's also the fact that it is so dark it makes it feel even smaller. So I don't don't like freak out if you're going to move into a 650 square foot place. This layout just got old. Up. I mean, we still lived here for two and a half years. <laughs> yeah, we did. Like, we We're did not great with change. I feel like. I'm, and I'm yeah, terrible at but we also we didn't want to keep moving. Like this is what our fourth move and fifth move. This place is the only place I've re-signed the lease at ever in my entire life. Otherwise, it's at least once per year. Yeah. And that's and yeah, that that's a lot. gets old. That gets. You can never invest in anything or like any place. It's hard to make a place a home when you're moving every year. Yeah, like by the time you get settled, you're gonna move. So. Don't get too comfortable. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I also feel like this place was, it or is half in like, I guess half in the basement. Kind of it's, like this, like that. That's the ground level, right? Yeah. So like, yeah. Ground it's level. It, it's just dark and it's just. There's like maybe some weird mold problems. Yeah. Nothing crazy, but like still just. We did this once before in Wisconsin too, and I think we're like we're over it. We're over living partially underground. For sure. I want to live above the ground. Good job. We we're doing that. Yay. Just a parasite. Uh oh wow. Okay. Something I'm gonna miss about this place though, straight ahead, the laundry. Yeah. I. In unit, in unit laundry, we don't have that at our current place. I know. We still haven't even used it. Moment literally could. just picked up laundry <laughs> because I look I'm never gonna show you guys what our current laundry room situation looks like because it is terrifying mm -hmm. and, and it costs money and it costs money yeah. obviously this like costs water as well but I'd rather do that for sure just yeah. having the luxury of laundry in a unit like yeah. I've never really lived without it and I'm, we're gonna pay our dues for a year yeah it's gonna be fine something else I'm gonna miss about this place is the outside shared space. It's not really shared, but it is. It's ours. <laughs> it's ours for all intents and purposes. The little yard. Yeah, there's like a little yard, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that that was like Frank's 
home mm -hmm. out there. He already misses it. He already misses it. And yeah. the, the neighbors were like, they were pretty cool. Yeah. Like we missed them. They were all super nice. They were all super sweet to Frank when he was outside. And, and he like, loved them too. Like, let us know if you want help moving. Yeah. So, you know, we're sad to leave them because it's cool to have cool neighbors. For yeah. sure. Yeah, they were all really sweet. And yeah. Frank also was very, like, used to them. And wasn't, he, like, just wasn't scared of them. So, yeah. it's going to be kind of an interesting thing to see how he works with not going outside. I was hoping that he would kind of just forget about it, but he hasn't. So hopefully time will change that. Yeah. Our place in Tukwila was big and huge and right kind of, but the location of this place still made it a far happier place to live because we were actually in the city. So I think we learned that from living here. Oh, location, yes. location, location, location. Do not live outside the city if you want to live in the city. For because sure. That it's not the same. Yeah. So I think even like this dark little space we were happier here than like the big bright space that was far away, you know? hundred percent. The location is huge and just being able to like walk to a coffee shop or walk to get some food is like huge and we never or had that. Or can be at your house in 10 minutes, not yeah. six hours. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Tuck, well, we're not talking about Tuckwill right now. Yeah, and like this Love closet was, was nice. so nice mirrors. and like just like two big mirrors is like incredible. Yeah. Like that was really smart to, I do wish they would have painted it white, but. Maybe yes. they will for the next people. Yeah, if you watch this video, paint it white. Paint it white. Yeah. The yeah, heaters. This, this nice, you know, like, yeah, know. here's the outside nice space. Light. There's the outside space. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna miss that for him. Yeah, and but, for us. And for yeah, us. And I do feel like too, like your room even here is just like so, there were so many problems with yes. it. And like the floor, <laughs> I've gotten used to the floor, it's just like it dips, like you can yeah. see it all the way from it wasn't great, and like just having this view is like not cool. Look at this. Look at this. Two years. Nothing. Two and a half years. I looked at a wall. Yikes. Everything's fine. I'm not. I'm not mad about it. Two and a half. That is right. We were here for two and a half. Yeah. I keep saying two. The closet's nice. Like, there's nice parts about it. But yeah. It's I mean, dark room small. though. It's. It, this is way like this, this feels small. way smaller just probably because this. I think. Yeah. It just feels. T I mean, it this feels is smaller. Just, it does yeah. Feel so much smaller. So yeah. the window in my next room, or new room, is smaller, but it's so much brighter because it's not right next to a building and it gets like sunlight. Yeah. It just is such such a difference. Another thing I'll be happy to leave behind is these steps that go right by my window so people can like kind of see in. And then people dragging those big ass garbage <laughs> things up the steps like <laughs> at night and then they drag it down and it's like inside my head. Yeah. So like, I'm really glad that I don't have that at the next place. Agreed. We don't, yeah, we won't hear anything like that, I feel like. No, maybe like a little bit more traffic sound, but fuck. Literally like, I, oh yeah, I'm- He's I'm done, he's done talking about that. Yeah. I think like, I'm just also, I feel very thankful for this space too. Yeah. Like, I feel like this was the space that allowed us to even be in the city. Yeah. At the, at the, at this price. Yes. At the price. Right. Like we were able to afford it. We were able to afford it. It was a good experience for us. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, moving on up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, truly, from like subleasing to renting an actual place, but that was far away, and then like renting in the city, and now like renting in the city, and it's a nicer place. Yeah. I think that we're doing pretty good. Let's go. I just feel like I wanted to make this video to show you guys that it's okay for it to take time, it doesn't have to happen immediately. Um, I feel like there's a lot of people that that move out here and immediately they have a great place Like people that I know and I'm like, how did you do that? Mm -hmm. And it can be really frustrating because it's taken us four years to figure out yeah. How to do it and kind of how to do it right? So if you're moving out here, just be patient and like yeah. if it doesn't happen right away Like and if you want it to happen, it will happen. Just right. You know, it's not worth spending like three quarters of your income on your rent No, like just it's no. okay to have like a humble place, really. 100%. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, that kind of concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below if you guys are already moved here or if you're planning on moving here and any stresses that you're having or anything you're excited about. Gus, I'm really proud of us for cleaning this place and getting it done. Yeah. And also, the reason our friendship still works is because 
We both clean. Yes. Make sure if you're leaving a place to clean it. Yeah. Like you will yeah. your friendship will end. It will. Yeah. I feel like yeah. and it's just bad karma. Like clean a place that you're renting it. So yeah. anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you later. Bye.